Hello everybody, and welcome back to the shop for another action packed 10 minutes. Farmer building excitement and action and suspense with no drama. <laughs> oh, we y'all know we ain't into the drama in the shop. But anyway, about all they got left to do is clay this up. And sit here and visit with y'all on this Monday morning. Well, I want to tell you guys something. Last Friday was really nice here. Then Saturday and Sunday, it was like cold, wintertime snow. It was terrible. And today it's just gorgeous out. <laughs> that just figures. But springtime is here almost oh but sterling uh man you didn't send me your shirt size buddy i'm gonna send you a t-shirt and uh, you didn't give me your shirt size so i got a big old mess of shirts in there i think i bought too many Do, 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 do. Man, ain't this exciting, people? A no bunch of y'all should be working right now, and you're sitting here watching my videos. <laughs> Don't let anyone catch you. Just tell everyone it's a new training video you gotta watch. One of them boring old training videos. Man, it's kind of nice to be working with kind of normal sized parts now. Everything made so big. You know, makes this rudder seem tiny, even though it's a monster old rudder. It seems tiny, tiny. Man, just a regular sized jet now would be so. I think I could make one of them up so quick. It ain't even funny. So I'm going to do the, I decided I'm going to do the, the 105 next, people. Because two reasons, it won't take me very long. And that old sharp pencil's got two sets of landing gear made. The fuselage is just about ready to pull the mold off. A couple coats of primer, it's going to take some sanding. Don't get me wrong there. There's a little bit of work there, but shoot, I could have it ready to mold in a week. A few parting planes. Another week, it'll be molded. And then, you know, just a few bulkheads. And Paul has got two sets of landing gear already made for that. One for me and one for him. <laughs> I like that plane. It's one of my favorite fighters. 105. You know, and there ain't no kids out there. I've seen a couple that are coming out. Haven't made it yet. There's some old ducted fan ones around, smaller ones. But ours would be the biggest. Well, I forgot to set the Bobo timer, people. 
Be careful not to beat up this wood and break my clay loose. I want to go ahead and get that hurry up and get that first coat on there ASAP. system and all that wax on this rudder nothing's going to stick but uh you know i've seen it for the first time at butch's when i was in texas we made a mold with no part off you know i heard of people doing it and i was always scared you know but says i don't use part all and neither does tom cook but uh we just waxed up the plug real good and uh, using that a good wax like Butch uses and like that honey wax. And you can just pop resin right on top of this, people. Pops right off. Right off. I couldn't believe it. But, you know, as your molds get seasoned, you know, the more you use your molds, the easier stuff pops out. Like I know after you get three or four parts made out of a mold, you really don't need no part all then. Because your molds get seasoned. See when that resin sets up, it gets it heats up. And each cycle just impregnates that wax deeper into that mold. And uh for long, the parts just pop right out. Someone wanted me to bring that up to you guys. Because you always see me pulling these first molds and they're always tough. The more you use it, the easier it gets. Bam, this piece is almost done. Gotta get around that backside. How we doing on time? Uh oh, we're flashing. 